Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Randall and Murphy here. Today's Saturday, September 24th, 2022 AD. And I've got the Ogeto. Ogeto? I would say Ogeto. Uh, let's see if I can show you that here. Now, this is a, a range finder, and it's good for basically it's measuring. Uh, so let me see if I can do this backwards here. Because uh, I had to figure out some of the. Okay. Let's see if I can pull on C. Try to remember who to work. Okay, so switch it to the. To, it's got a thing where you can switch it when you're measuring it from the bottom here or to the top here. So you know, if you're setting it on a table or something and you want to know the complete distance uh, from the bottom to the. They say the ceiling. You don't want to measure it from here. You want to measure it from here. I mean, you can check. In other words, you can change it whether whether it the laser comes out here, but it, it you know it adds this depth or it doesn't add it based on how you push the button. So it's really easy to do. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, let's see if I, let's see what yeah, I'm trying to oh okay. So it's got the little laser there. Let me hold it up there. Okay, so from, from the laser, the top of the laser, to the ceiling in here is four foot six inches. And you can see if I can get that in focus. There's so much light reflecting in here. There we go. And here you can see where it's going to measure either from the top of the laser or from the bottom of the unit. Uh, let's see what else you can do. You can, of course you can change it to meters and all that stuff if you want to. Let's see what else. You can turn the backlight on and off. Uh, you can take multiple measurements. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, now this is for, for all you people that the good better math skills than I have. Uh, look right here. You got you can do the cube, the square. You can do your angles. Okay. So yeah, you can do it this way, do it this way, and then get you know do all your math stuff, which I was never really good at that. <laughs> but the main thing I use it for, like I said, you just gotta. If you don't want to do all that advanced stuff, uh, it's, it's got the advantage if you're good at that kind of stuff and you know how to use it. There's an instruction man, you can read all about it. Um, but what I use it for is just to measure distances. And you know, all you gotta do is push the button here. And it does it. Okay, of course my hands are moving a little bit, but. And then you can, of course as I move it, it changes. See, I move it this way, it's changing. So, uh, so it's four, well, okay, I should pause it. So it's four foot, six uh, six inches from here to the ceiling. So that's pretty cool. It's, it's a nice little unit, works really good. Uh, it's got some batteries. Hang on, let me turn this thing off. Okay, so it's off now. All you gotta do is hold the power button for about two seconds. It turns off, runs on two batteries, and those are, those are triple A's, I think. Yeah, triple A. So two triple A batteries. Um, put the lid back on. Uh, I wish it had a case. Didn't come with a case. Wish it came with a case. But uh, it wouldn't hurt to have some kind of like a rubber coating protecting it, like a um, you know. But what it is is pretty nice. Now it came with a little little lanyard thingy. It's crap. A little lanyard thing is crap. Now, of course, you have to be careful because there is a laser, so you don't want to point it in somebody's eye. Um, but aside from that, it's, I mean, the, I'll show you that. Uh, it's not too hard to read. It's a little small. I wish the buttons or the lettering was a little bit bigger. And then, of course, you got your two little levels here. You got one here and one here. 
Okay. So, again, not perfect. There is room for improvement. But, overall, still, it's very, very nice. So, I'm going to say two thumbs up. Keeping in mind, it could be better. So, until next time, I'm Randall and Ruth. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless.